Okay. Let's go the other way with this. Let's start with Cartesian coordinates and convert that into polar coordinates, shall we? We have radical 3 and negative 1. Okay? Again, problem solving. The, we have formulas to help us do this. Inverse tangent of y over x, and r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. You want to use the formulas, more power to you. I will not stop you from doing that. Okay? But I'll show you the, the, the trap in that when we get to the end of this, when we get to the end of this video. Okay? So where is this point? Radical 3 and negative 1. I went further to the right than I did down because I know that radical 3 has a greater value than 1. So here's that point right there. Okay? I know that this is radical 3, and if I had to, I would label that as negative 1 because it's down. I know distances aren't negative. Don't take my math degree away. All right? So give the coordinates in polar form. Polar form is not about over and down. It's about around and out. Right? So finding, let's do this, finding the coordinates of that point rotate around this far. Do, do, do. No, wrong. No, anyway. Rotate around this far and find that distance. But the angle is here, right? That's theta. Keep that in mind. Okay? Keep that in mind. Now, we don't have a protractor, so unless you guys got a protractor in your back pocket. Maybe you carry one. I, I mean, I don't, but I'm not a nerd. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. Anyway, sorry if I, I'm sorry if you carry a protractor in your back pocket. You're not a nerd. You're prepared. You're probably a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout or something, right? Eagle Scout. I don't know. Uh, this is our angle theta. But if you're going to find the measure of that angle, I hope it's obvious how we're going to get it. We're not going to get the measure of that angle by measuring this way. We're going to get the measure of that angle by finding the missing piece here. Okay using that right triangle. So, I, if it's okay with you, I'm going to call that theta for now. Right? So, in other words, I know these two sides with respect to this red angle right here, and this side is opposite, and this side is adjacent. So, starting with theta, I know that the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And then you get a quick little shiver up your spine because you're like, oh, no, radicals in the denominator. Right, we don't want that. Let's be a problem solver. Let's use everything we've talked about this entire semester, this entire quarter. And I know it's been a drag, okay? But let's use everything we've talked about here. The tangent of theta, therefore, is equal to negative radical 3 over 3. And we've created this neural network in your brain so many times that it should just be firing, right, without much effort. We're supposed to know what theta is. What angle has a tangent value of radical 3 over 3? In terms of radians, what would you give it? It'd be pi over 6, because we have two 3's. So we know it's definitely a pi over 6. And we helped ourselves out, ourselves out by drawing the picture. Because I know it has to be a pi over 6 angle, and I know it's in quadrant 4. What pi over, so what's the one angle in quadrant 4 that's labeled as pi over 6? That would be 11 pi over 6. So there's our angle. 330 degrees, right? Now, here's the thing. If you type this into the calculator, if you type this into your calculator, it's going to say negative 30. Which isn't wrong, okay? But 
we probably should give this a positive angle measurement, and we give it in radians. If you want to do it in degrees, again, you're doing math Excel, do whatever they want you to do, okay? But when this is negative, we're going to use the positive equivalent, and we're using radians. Negative 30 degrees means 30 degrees down, right? I'm sacrificing right now for my profession because the pain in my left arm when I do this, it's excruciating, okay? Could you tell? You couldn't tell. Did I wince? A little bit. Did I go, ah, 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 No, I did not. Okay, not even a little bit. No flinch, no wince, nothing. But negative 30 degrees goes down like that, right? But we're talking about the angle that goes this way, okay, and ends up in the same spot. So, be careful with calculators. Be careful with formulas. The picture is way more valuable to us as a problem solver. The value of r, like we talked about, we could say r squared is equal to negative 1 squared plus radical 3 squared. Okay? We don't, need a, we don't need a formula. We can clearly look at this and say, well, r is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So r squared is equal to 1 plus 3, which is 4. So r has to be 2. When we add those together and take the square root, we get 2 from that. Okay? So the ordered pair would be 2 comma... 11 pi over 6. Okay? Be careful. Draw a picture, draw a picture, draw a picture. This is going to trap some of you guys. We'll do one very quick video next, and then, and then I think we'll be done. All right?